Hello, Andrew Andrew here. We're outside of the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at pornography on my phone. We're ex- Not we're, really. We're outside the Long Acre Theater about to see the performers, and I am so excited I, about this. I have seen at least one thing that everyone in this cast has done. And have been blown away. So, I hope that this is a dramatological gangbang Th- this of show, entertainment. It's a show about the adult film industry, mm. a.k.a pornography industry, but supposedly what I've heard is that they go beyond just about pornography and they really touch upon some bigger things. Something like Bring It On, where it's not just about cheerleading, yes. it's about the human spirit. Henry Winkler from... Whose Ar- name sounds like a porn star name to begin with. From well, Harry Winkler, more like it, yeah. Arrested Development and The Fonz. And um, Children's Hospital. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, guys? Yeah. Cheyenne Jackson. 30 Rock this and is like every sp- Broadway musical ever. We want a full release at the end. Yes. <laughs> Porn star per award, childhood friend tailing him, writing a sophisticated article profiling him. And then, because of complications, the porn star has to grow up a little bit, and the stodgy reporter has to slut it up a little bit, lives are changed, people grow. I don't know, I thought the script was actually kind of deep. My nomination for best starlet would have to go to Ari Grainer. She steals the show. She does. And look, Alicia Silverstone, who's like arguably a bigger star, is a real late bloomer. She finally has her moment. I was kind of disappointed in her performance up until the point where she goes full retard, as it were. Cheyenne Jackson is also amazing. All the performances were great. Unfortunately, the script itself... Really? I did not care for... I, I thought that they did such a great job with the hand that they were dealt. Just like in an adult film, the script is usually the weakest component. Exactly, and that's what I'm talking about. For a show about pornography and such titillating subject matter, it's very traditional. It's well, a very traditional show. I was moved by Henry Winkler's performance. Exactly. When he talks about how he's no longer in his prime and the tragedy of being an over-the-hill porn star, I kind of teared up a little bit. All in all, though, I have to say yellow light. Really? Yeah. Oh, come on, this is a full-on green light. This is so much fun. I mean, look, it's not going to change the world, but neither is a dirty movie. But you'll enjoy yourself for a little bit. Yellow light and green light for performers at the Long Acre Theater.